Hi, this is Natalie Rice from oddsmarket.com. Uh, joining us right now is Stuart from Tips to HQ. Uh, we're going to preview uh, the Europa League uh, semi finals matches taking place on Thursday, so not long now. The odds on the outrights are neck and neck. You could cut them with a knife. Uh, Sevilla 2.7, William Hill. Shakhtar Donetsk 2.7, William Hill. Now, the last time that these two teams met was back in 2007, uh, playing the Europa League, uh, which saw Sevilla knock Shakhtar out uh, in aggregate. Uh, so based on that, is it very tough here to predict the outrights? Yeah, this one's tight. Certainly this first leg, I think, is going to be particularly difficult and particularly tight. Um, for me, it's, it, it is particularly tough. Mm. There's a lot of particulars in there, but uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, well, I'm glad I am asking you these questions rather than the other way around because, you know, I'm really at a standstill here. I know you've written an article for us over at oddsmarket.com. Uh, what did you go on to explain then there? Um, I explained that there's some very, very attacking players in this one. Um, and, you know, some very, some quite well-known players, players like uh, Bernard, uh, Evan Benega, Fernando Lorente, Eduardo Silva, who used to play for Arsenal. You know, there's a lot of players who we do know, and a lot of those players, they're attacking players. And we may see a slightly more open attacking game than you're used to seeing in these kind of semi-final first legs. Uh, the other semi-final first leg, I think, is going to be really tight. This one, I think, could actually be quite open. So do, are you sort of suggesting that we look to markets, say, sort of like the over or both teams to score? Yeah, I think both of these sides are set up to attack. So maybe the over under the over two and a half goals is actually pretty good. Sevilla's last three European League matches, Europa League matches, all win over two and a half goals. And, and the odds aren't bad, actually. All right. Well, yeah, over over two and a half goals there. I've got there 1.95 bet365. And then both yeah. teams to score, I've got 1.78 uh, 888 sport. Uh, anything else you're expecting from this match? Uh, nothing too much beyond that, really. I, you know, I think potentially we may see a high-scoring draw. Um, mm -hmm. I think if either side's going to going to pip it, I think it may be severe. I mean, they've won this competition the last two seasons, yeah, and they'll definitely want to make a hat trick of that. Yeah, who would you back to qualify? Severe. Severe. Do you think that they'll they'll uh, retain the title for the third year in a row? Uh, I don't know because Liverpool are on a real charge to win this now. You know, they know that there's a, a Champions League place uh, available at the end. And uh, Sabir, they've already got, you know, they've experienced that. They know what it takes to win this competition. Yeah. And they'll be giving it a really good go. But I think Liverpool could be an outside chance. Yeah, it could be an outside chance. Well, obviously, they uh, visit Villarreal uh, on Thursday for their semi final match. Uh, they are not, it's, it's, they are obviously competition favourites. They're not favourites, though, uh, to beat Villarreal at Villarreal. Um, they're priced three, Coral, whilst Villarreal are priced 2.6, uh, William Hill. Uh, personally, I'm kind of siding with the Reds. Um, I'm also maybe siding on a sort of a draw, no bet option, something like that. Do you have you got a lean on the outrights on this, uh, this match? Um, I think this one, this one really could be a draw. Um, we're looking at potentially a one-all draw. I think mm -hmm. um, maybe both sides scoring, Liverpool getting that really, really vital away goal and taking that in the second leg back to Anfield. Um, I think Liverpool are the favourites, but I think that's swayed by the UK punters, and uh, I really can't see them in all reality being the team that's likely to win. But uh, you know, they're, they're reasonable. Yeah, I tell you what's interesting though. Also to note is if you look at um, both teams' sort of respective league uh, commitments, uh, Liverpool are a point away from sixth place uh, in the Premier League, whilst Villarreal they're sort of comfortable. They've got a comfortable six-point lead over Athletic Bilbao in fourth place, and so Villarreal's sort of full focus is going to be on this. Uh, whether or whereas, well, whilst Liverpool obviously have got sort of like an eye on their weekend match as well. Do you think that's something to take into consideration? Not really. You look at Newcastle's recent games, they've actually rested players for these Europa League sides. And I think that is their priority right now. Um, they're really going to be going out for this. They've rested players against uh, Newcastle at the weekend and they've dropped two points because of that. And I think we'll see more of that as the, as the you know, in the, in the midweek, well, sorry, okay. in, the, in the match between these two games. Uh -huh. you know, I, I think Liverpool really going to be going for it. For it. Yeah. Interestingly, the under has uh, the very the, has the lowest odds, one point six seven B win. Uh, is that where sort of you're uh, looking at this match? Yeah, certainly. I think this one will be a tight one, under two point five goals. Uh, it's pretty, pretty tight. I, I would not be making this one on the fifth of May though, when these two ties meet again. It's a uh, it's a bet for now, but not for later on. I think. All right. Anything else? So you can point us in the direction of Stuart. Um, no, I think this one is really very tough to call. Uh, there's some suspensions. There's some injuries. And uh, I think the real fireworks are going to come out in the second leg. 
All right, fantastic. So for those watching, if you do want to check out uh, Stuart's article over at oddsmarket.com, link can be found in the description. He goes into more detail there about what he's expecting from the match. Uh, Stuart, thank you for joining us. No problem.